Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to talk YouTube. Today I'm going yes, to talk I'm about my journey in YouTube as a YouTuber that has his channel monetized. I'm gonna talk about the big mistakes I did on YouTube and affect me and you guys can learn from these mistakes and avoid it for your channels. So my name is Wissam and my channel is about almost everything. I will talk I talk about finance, about how you build your credit, about credit repair. Uh, I talk about uh, cars, how to build cars. I post some uh, cars video about racing. Also, I'm a musician. I post some music videos about the photography videos since I like photography as well. And I also like posting uh, YouTube videos about YouTube, how you monetize your channel, what do you do for your YouTube channel. I'm kind of uh, know so much about YouTube, so I can also be a big help. But having this kind of channel that has too many uh, interests it's also hurt your channel because like if you have a 3,000 subscriber it doesn't mean that 3,000 subscribers are interested in all your content portion of them are interested in cars some interested in the music some interested in the credit repair some interested in like YouTube monetization so when you upload video about let's say cars not all the people who are uh, subscribed to you will watch it you know just portion of them that's why you see like big number of subscribers sometimes but less views so I believe if you have like a focus on one or two things in your channel it help you more to build your channel and help you more to get more views and more watch hours but for now I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and probably in the future I can do like two separate channels if, if I think it's worth it so this is one thing, if you are trying YouTube, starting YouTube channel, I advise you to cons uh, concentrate on one or two subjects, not more than that. So it took me around uh, six, seven months to get my channel monetized. Um, by that I mean to meet the 1,000 1, subscriber and 4,000 watch hour and I applied for mon uh, monetization and I get approved within like within 30 hours they approved my application for monetization I start monetizing my videos which means I start running ads on my videos and I start making money out of every video the amount of money I was making in the beginning was nothing really it was nothing but it's like a start you know but the first big mistake I had done get my channel um, uh, suspended for 30 days for Google AdSense is watching my ads on my channel i did not personally watch ads on my channel but youtube algorithm suspect like i was watching ads on my channel probably in the beginning like one or two ads just to be curious how many ads was running on my channel and what the like what kind of ads was running on my channel and i wasn't aware it's gonna like get me banned you know i wasn't like refreshing my ads or whatever just to make more money so that get me suspended for 30 days of making money on YouTube and that was back in February or March I believe in March yeah the entire uh, month of March so after 30 days I was making sure no one even in my household watch any ads on my channel like just skip ads or just use YouTube premium just don't watch out uh, like ad if you're like in my household like using the same IP or same location so one things you need to be aware of do not click on your ads no matter what do not click on your ads even if it's an innocent action just do not do it this get me suspended for 30 days the second big mistake I did and I wasn't aware I was doing is getting uh, my actually it get my channel demonetized for 30 days again which is reused content so what do I mean by reused content it means reusing someone else content someone else making videos I take it post on my channel and I know it looks so bad it's like stealing someone else art or work but in my case it wasn't this scenario what I was reusing is uh, if you remember the President Trump was like every day has a brief about coronavirus so I was hosting live stream almost every day when the President Trump go and has the talk I just host it on my channel as live so YouTube consider it as reused content you know it's not copyrighted material it's public access it's anyone can post it with no problem because it's public record but YouTube consider it as reusing content and I mean I agree 
YouTube wants us to uh, be more creative, not be lazy. So also that got my channel demonetized, not suspended, demonetized for 30 days. They will lift that demonetization restriction on July 11th and I will be able to start monetizing my channel again. So reusing someone else's contents without adding any commentary to it or reviews or anything has your fingerprint on it. It's a big no. Avoid it if you are wanting to monetize your channel and keep it in right uh, monetization term. This is a big no. So do not click on your ad, number one. Number two is do not reuse anyone else's content. That's it. Even though I see sometimes a lot of Family Guys videos uh, are monetized or channel, the entire channel is monetized based on running Family Guy videos, which is absolutely reused contents and it's actually uh, abusing the copyright it's all copyrighted material and they still running ads on them they still monetized so I don't know if YouTube playing double standard or it's just not paying attention to them yet and later they might demonetize them but anyway this doesn't make it right that don't need to say oh someone someone else is monetized by using uh, by reusing contents for someone else just don't use it for yourself be original post only original things if you want to reuse someone else's contents only in purpose of making comments on it or review it just add big things to it like from your uh, uh, creative way you know what i mean so just uh, avoid it it, <laughs> it really get me de demonetized for 30 days and at this point of youtube when i start making good money demonetizing it hurt you know and you know youtube is not my only source of income so i have another source of income i can survive i can live but it's still gonna be big cut for 30 days so uh, just be uh, pay attention and for this one thing is, it's really worrying me and uh, i tried to contact youtube uh, regarding this i didn't get any like clear answer as usual youtube doesn't like give you a clear answer they also refer you to their standard go read them you know so what I do, since I'm a musician, I play piano, you, you will see on my channel some piano cover made by me. So I'm the one who plays the piano, you know, I'm the one who like, it has my fingerprint on it. But I still worry about if YouTube will consider it also reused content or not, since it was like arranged by someone else, the music arrangement, but I'm playing the piano. So I'm still thinking of either deleting all these videos and don't risk my channel or uh, just keep it and see after like in july 11 if i will be able to monetize my channel with these covers or not i tried to uh, communicate with youtube i send them a tweet i don't use twitter but i create twitter account just to uh, communicate with them i did not get any like clear answer really so uh, if anyone know anything please leave me a comment if you have a good answer for that leave me a comment i will really appreciate it so much and that will help me because me posting videos about the piano covers also will spread my channel more a lot of people is music lovers especially piano and also I like to show my talent so uh, if you can help me please leave me a comment and finally for this video that's everything in my mind now if anything new come up I promise to make another video and thank you guys for watching thank you guys for supporting me and for being great fans and family and you all have a good day Please read the YouTube channel monetization policies. Make sure you read them all and you understand each part of them. It's always going to be some problem with misunderstanding and do some innocent mistakes. But we all learn from our lessons. It's not a big deal. You can always fix your mistake and uh, get back on track. One thing I wish YouTube do is be clear with the problem. Like when they monetize you, they just refer to the policy. They don't really give you the exact uh, action you need to take. So sometimes you have to guess and try. Um, I think they should be more easier and point more on the problem so we can avoid do them in the future. Anyway, good luck to everyone looking to monetize his channel. Yes, it's very good to, be, to have a monetized YouTube channel. It requires a lot of work, but it's worth it.